Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Hoi. I just got back from the gym. I went to the supermarket, got some milk. We're bulking again, baby. Last time, at the end of my bulk, I got up to about 79. This time, I'm gonna go up to 80. Um, I'm gonna get fat again. My face is gonna get puffy. As you can probably already tell, I've gained a little bit of weight. I'm 70 now, 70.9 to be exact. But yeah, let's see how this bulk is gonna end up. My goal is to get as strong as possible. Get really strong. Especially on the weighted dips and the weighted pull-ups. And also, it would be nice if I can get my squats up as well. But, who knows, I might be putting all my eggs in one basket. I need to diversify a little bit and focus on other movements. And strength is strength. You will get stronger overall. If you just focus on like the basic compound movements and then if you get better at one lift your overall strength will develop that's my philosophy in training anyways i'm not really um training to be like the strongest motherfucker on the squat bench and deadlift i just want to get stronger overall be more healthy last longer be able to move myself more efficiently through space prevent injuries really because you know my line of work involves a lot of I guess not really lifting but mainly manual handling and repetitive movement so I need to bulletproof myself so that's fitness out of the way I want to talk about life ever since I made the decision to stay celibate until marriage. Everything just feels so simple. People always think in order to maximize your life, in order to feel, I guess, fulfilled and completed, you need to achieve more, you need to do more, you need to add more stuff into your life. You need to make more money, you need to meet more people, get more people into your life. You need to buy more things so that all of your needs are met. You need to tick all of the boxes, um, all of the needs in the Maslow hierarchy of needs. Food, sex, security, accommodation. What else? I don't know. You need to achieve your self-actualization goals and stuff like that. You need to achieve more, 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 basically more. But I want to challenge this idea. I want to say simplify your life. Instead of adding more stuff into your life, instead of figuring out more ways to do, I don't know, instead of figuring out how you can do more things, why don't you just take out a few things? And I don't mean just take out a few things that you don't really need sure take out those things but then also take out the things that you really enjoy just take it out take one thing out and you will see instead of your life becoming duller becoming more boring become less fulfilling the opposite is actually true and I want you to think about this. Remember that time when you make the conscious decision to stop playing video games? Video games, it's fun, man. As a kid, I've always wanted to have a video game console like PS4 or Xbox. When I was in primary school, all of my friends, they got Xbox, they got PS4. And because... <laughs> my mom initially came here with me in Australia. We came here on a student visa. My mom was studying. She brought me here. And she was living off of her scholarship money. She's not working. She wasn't working. So we basically used that scholarship money for food and rent. And so I didn't get a lot. <laughs> I didn't get spoiled uh, as I was in Vietnam. So when I was in primary school... And I looked around me and I see all these kids with, with the pumped up kicks. <laughs> with all these 
fancy toys and I don't know school equipments skateboards clothes Xbox PS4s I really envy them and every time after school I would go to my friend's house to play his Xbox and PS4 and then when I get home I would complain to my mom mom I want a PS4 for my birthday and she just said no no you're not gonna have it if you want it you're gonna work for it and you're gonna save up and yeah I didn't really <laughs> I didn't really get anything for my um, primary school years it's not until I went to high school that I started working then I started to want to buy my own skateboards and my own shoes because when you were when you are skateboarding and you do a lot of tricks your shoes get torn up and I was always wearing Kmart shoes and I got sick of it <laughs> and then I saved up eventually to go to uh, a second-hand market with my dad to buy my new pair of shoes which were second-hand because someone already <laughs> somebody already used those pairs of shoes so we, we got them secondhand and yeah within a month or so they, they get chewed up again by my skateboarding and then we had to go back to the secondhand market to buy a different pair of shoes and we just rinse and repeat over and over but because of that lack of um, I guess material things in my life as a kid I was able to enjoy other things because I didn't have an Xbox I was out there skateboarding I was going to the skate park I was meeting new people um, I think I've told you guys about that story when I said hello to the next door neighbors kids we, we used to live in this flat and one night this woman on the same floor she got her um, son coming over to visit her and her and, and his friends and then they were skating um, down at the car park and I heard them and I went down and said uh, hello to them and introduced myself and then the all three or four of us kids we all went out to the skate park at <laughs> at midnight basically all of us kids we all went down to the skate park and that was fun I guess if I had an Xbox, if I had my own sort of like gaming console when I was in primary school, I, I wouldn't be skating. I would be focusing on playing my video games. But because I didn't have that, I had to find something else. I was also drawing. I was also, <laughs> I don't know, I was making Ben 10 clay figures because I couldn't buy them because my mom wouldn't buy me Ben 10 figurines so that I had to make them out of clay. And yeah, I did all those super shit, really autistic stuff. <laughs> I shouldn't be saying that. There's nothing wrong with being autistic. If that's how you were born, then you just got to find ways to um, fit in with society and make meaningful connections. You just have to be you, but then you also have to learn about the world around you in order to fit in and make friends. Trust me. I have a lot of sort of like people, lot sort of friends on the spectrum, and we, we get along really well. So what what am I saying? Ever since I cut out, I guess sex and intimacy from my life, I'm not saying I will cut this out forever because I am only cutting this out until I find my wife. But ever since I cut that stuff out, I've learned to enjoy the things that I already have in my life much more today the sun just seems so much more vibrant the sky just seems so much more blue i went to the gym this morning and i saw this kid he was squatting 135 kilogram pretty heavy pretty heavy that's a weight that not a lot of people in the gym can do forget about all of this internet fitness influencers and all of the Instagram, I, I guess, TikTok, all of these 
seek lift on social media because the reality is that most people in the gym, they cannot squat two plates on each side, 100 kilograms. Most people in the gym cannot squat that weight. If you go to a commercial gym, that is. The vast majority of people in our current modern society is not healthy. They are sedentary. They sit at home, they eat junk food. I don't know. Not a lot of people, they exercise and look after their health. So when I see that kid squatting 135, I had to stop my workout. I was doing tricep push downs, yeah? And I saw this kid, I had to stop it. And I went up to him and I introduced myself and I said, bro, I just want to say you're strong as fuck. No, I didn't say that. I, I just said you're strong as hell. Congratulations. That was a sick lift. And we talked a little bit. We introduced ourselves. He said he's working. Um, he only goes to the gym for t two days a week and only training lower body because his upper body is uh, injured or, so or whatever. And then we just sort of said our names and then said, uh, I said, yeah, I'm definitely going to see you again, man. <laughs> yeah. That interaction, it wasn't that meaningful, I guess. Not meaningful, not deep. Not the kind of interactions or conversation that I would have with my close friends. Because, you know, I'm a very big introvert. And when I speak to you, and if we gel... I would be telling all of my life problems. I would be sharing everything about myself. I would be sharing stuff that I think about before I go to sleep. Life and death, God, the meaning of life, um, the state of the world right now, what I think of different people, what I think of society. Like, that sort of stuff, you know? But I realized... These small interactions, these small talks, I've become, I don't know, I just feel like they just become more beautiful to me. Like I appreciate them much more. I feel like they are the gateway to meaningful connections, to big conversations. Small talks lead to big talks. Same thing yesterday as I was going home. I opened the boot of the car and I took out my guitar and bass amps. My next door neighbor, he saw me carrying those stuff and he came over and he said, excuse me, I just want to say I really enjoy when you guys were jamming. What's your name? And then he told me, uh, he's also a drummer. He lives literally right there. Like I can point, I can point to his house right there. He lives right there and he's a drummer. And yeah, it's just, I don't know if, if life just feels so much more vibrant, so much more beautiful when you cut out some of the stuff that you really enjoy. I really enjoy sex. I really enjoy getting a girlfriend, holding hands, kissing my girlfriend, hugging her. I don't know, I really love that stuff. But I realized once I made the conscious decision to cut that out, everything around me just feels so much more beautiful because I can focus on them more. I know I'm not going to be like this forever. I know I will find a girl eventually and I will make her my wife. But until then, I just want to enjoy all of this. I just want to soak it in so that when I find the one for me, I'm able to share it with her completely. You see what I mean? And yeah, so I added that guy on Facebook and now we're friends and whenever we jam, I'm going to invite him over and we are going to jam together. And he also lives, he also has a house near my guitarist's house. So whenever we jam at my guitarist's house, I'm going to invite him over and we're going to jam there as well. And yeah. All right, I got to go to work now soon well not not now but soon and next week i'll be starting my first night shift i don't know how that gonna go um a lot of people say 
to stay up the night before you go to your first night shift in a row but I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna get a full good night sleep and then the next day before I go to my night shift I'm gonna take a nap and then I'm gonna go and I'm, I'm gonna conquer this I'm gonna crush this let's go baby anyways I hope you're doing well stay strong and God bless and I'll be speaking to you tomorrow peace